Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to episode of Pat Taste Form. Today's gonna be something a little bit different. This is more of a vlog, which is something we really don't do. Uh, I think I'm kind of terrible at it, but I think with practice, I'll get better at it. But anyway, this is a, another version of Selim Sunday, which you guys were really recepted, you know, pretty well. And uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Mrs. Pat Taste Performance, we go live every 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern time every Saturday, and we've talking about some of the situations that we come across. And during COVID, I tried to do some of this live, and it just didn't work out due to reception. But then, little ding dong, came off my head, and I said, you know what, why don't I just record them, and we'll go from there. So, we spoke about this on this previous live, that we were going to do this, um, and there is more to it than just showing you how we deal with things, right? First step up is a Honda Versmo. Okay, I was asking 500 for it. You guys know I already sold one because I had this one coming. I sold this one too. This guy is a pathological liar and we caught it. I'm gonna show you a couple screenshots of this guy's chats and then what he says in person really nullifies all that. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy it. The foundation of this Honda Versimo is, or the purpose of this video is, stay firm, stick to your guns, know your worth, know your machine's worth, and know what else is for sale out there. This guy drove over an hour and a half, which ended up being two hours, to pick up this lawnmower. That's not my problem, right? Maybe if someone in the area like him had a fully serviced Honda Versimo, that'd be a different story. And you're gonna catch the details where he says, oh man, the blades are brand new. No, they're reconditioned. So a little bit of paint goes a long way. All right, guys, enjoy this first video. What's happening? How are you? I'm fucking fine, man. <laughs> two, two hours, man. Shit. How's it, baby? Good? Yep. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, I'll put it on the, on the rocks. So I'll just... They're not new. They ha I had them reconditioned. Oh, but they, they yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they go. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. And then you see you can move this. You know, whatever you want. And then this is to shut off the gas. What is it for? What oh, you know what? Uh, sometimes you could put the in the in the ground or in the bag. You can control how much. Okay. You see, there's a flap. You see? Oh, it's open and close. Yeah. Or well, you could do okay. a little bit. Or you okay. could do some in the bag, some in the ground. Good. Nice. All right, that's good. When do you do the oil change? Um, just before I sold, just before I put it up for sale. So I had it serviced. Yeah. So yeah, I just had it serviced. Yep. 
bit here, right? Yeah, let's. Oh, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Ah! Like it was meant to be, perfect. You always tell us that for all night or? Not really. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of local. I thought you had some other. Loans, yeah, 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 like yeah. yeah. Dad, whatever. Yep. And I was looking for like a power wash because I just had my own house. Now yeah, I yeah, to yeah. Get, I had to start getting my own stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How do you know? One, two, three. Perfect. Beautiful. Thank you very Thank much. You. Safe well, travels. I, I need a uh, quick link. Can I use a bathroom here, you think? Better? Yeah, just go right through that. Do you think uh, it's going to be okay? Oh, no, because everything is locked down. Lo siento. I cannot even eh. take a link from the fire. Ah. Because it's going to be two more hours going back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or oh, where's that daily Santi looking going? I know 7 Eleven is on the corner. They have, you should have a bathroom, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go straight to right on the left. Be Thank good, you, man. man. Take care. All right, guys, so next up is Murray 524 Snowblower that I found in the garbage. It's actually featured on our YouTube channel, so you guys actually have to check that out if you want to uh, refresh yourself of how this came about to us and, and what we have to do to get it going to where it is. Um, since we had to do nothing to it, I didn't mind getting it down to the price that I wanted to. Plus, I already had another Snowblower mod I wanted to buy. Uh, I don't go out for punishment, but, you know... Um, it is what it is. So this happened. Uh, we have a lot of influx in traffic because the offer up and let go merge together. That will be another video for another day. I will be ranting about that. And uh, it started off with that. And I took Mrs. Pate's performance advice. As you guys can see towards the conversation, I waited till the very last minute to get everything going, to confirm that he was going to be there and... So it went from, uh, I'll do it. So then that transpired into a phone call. And the phone call says, oh, I got busy. Um, I got to take his wife to the doctor or something. And he'll be free for 6.30. 6.30 never came. Strike two. That transitioned to, what time in the morning? I'm off. Let's do this earlier the better. You know, honestly, it's snowblood still any time of the day, but earlier the better. Get it out of the way. You know, 9 a.m. I thought was pretty good. Ghost. I have nothing positive to say. So we're done. Hey, what's up, guys? Patrick's phone check. I just walked through the door. I have a half hour to get this snowblower out of storage and confirmed, ready to go. Let's check on this guy first. Old man, how are you? Oh, you a good boy? Yeah, we'll let you know. Oh, it smells a little funky in here. It happens. That's it's your food. Let's see. Good, 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 good. Ah, oh, bad. All right, figure it out. All right, so I have the snowblower running, um, letting it get warmed up. It's been sitting since winter. If you guys remember, I found that for free. I'm only selling it for 200 bucks. I didn't do anything to it, I think, besides change the oil and maybe do a service on it. I don't remember from that video. I did not modify the impeller. The whole purpose of this snowball when I got it was to do as little as possible and really not make as much money as I should. This is a nice machine. It does have electric start on it. Um, usually I sell them for about 300, 350. Um, it is an older model. It looked a okay. I, I didn't really have to do any paint work on it. I chose not to do it. The more I have to do the snowball, the more vested I get into it. And uh, just check out this one mower. I know it looks like a train wreck, but 30 bucks. It is what it is. 
let me get the snowblower uh, loaded up and we'll save this for another day. All right, so I got the ramp set up. I'm literally gonna drive it into the Honda and me and the guy when we'll meet up will help me take it out and if he doesn't take it, he's gonna help me put it back in. Let's go take a look over. Let's go take a walk over to the machine. Nice little machine from Compton. This is a Murray, five horsepower, 24 inch. Nice turf track tires. Um, the more I'm looking at it, we didn't even grease it. Usually I polish those shafts and cover them in grease. So I think literally all we did is just change the oil and um, new shear pins, that's it. Oh, they came with it, I really don't remember. Yeah, see this? This is still original. I never pulled off that wheel. Maybe I even set the skid shoe height. The star is nice and tight. Take a look at the oil. Yep, that is royal purple in there, so you know we did change it. So that's it, yeah, man. I did absolutely nothing to it except change the oil. 200 bucks. See you guys in a little bit. All right, just a video of the electric start. Plug this in. Get the button. Guess who still has snowball. All right. So this should have been locked on, said and sold. Obviously, nothing is ever promised. But I mean, I was gonna sell this thing for two hundred dollars. I mean, that's freaking good. But I don't know what happened to him, bro. Because that's everything with this guy was, bro. We were supposed to meet nine o'clock this morning because he bailed out last night bro and he just completely ignored me bro so who knows what's going on this is mrs pat taste with woman's attitude screenshot anyway another day another dollar life goes on echo backpack low is being sold today Yesterday, I was supposed to sell three things, four things. I'm the HRX217 Versimo. Done. Fantastic start to the day. Okay, that Echo Backpack Blower, the guy's coming today instead of, this guy's coming today instead of yesterday. Whatever. Okay, the most important part, I know, I know, I know. Mrs. Pate's phone says I'm greedy. She says I should be grateful because honestly, the Honda Versimo has the most important, well, the most value out of all of them. But, I mean, listen, you know I me, mean? I'm a hustler. I like to push, 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 push. But, I mean, it is, it is what it is. It just sucks I have to take that thing out of storage, put gas in it, and now I have to undo that all over again. And I was supposed to sell a pressure washer. But, that guy wanted a warranty because he cracked my code, and he could, like anybody else, not get one. Sorry. Um, I would have put a guarantee on that pressure washer because it has a brand new pump on it. I emailed the company. Hey man, how long is this pump guaranteed for? 30 days. Well, that 30 day warranty has expired. So I can't offer him anything. I won't. Um, user error on pressure washers is high because two things. Actually, <laughs> three. Sorry. Where do, you, where do you want to start? Pump or the engine? Let's start with the engine. Oil. And gas let's start with the pump running it without water hooked up to it number two would be not bleeding out the pump before you start it and if you want to go deeper not servicing the pump 30 days this guy said he needed it for a job 
So that means he's gonna be putting it through his paces, even though he says he only needs it here and there. Don't believe anybody. So I highly doubt it. So adios to him. I'm already married. I'm not getting married again. I say this over and over again. I'm already married, not happening. So unfortunately, I have to unload the snowblower. Well, maybe, maybe I'll leave it in there. And remember me as Pat T's for once thinking like when we sell something, do we put something else in the car? And when they see it, they could buy it too. It has worked a few times. We stopped doing that. I don't know why. We'll see. All right, let's see what we got. Good, how are you? You selling snow blow too? Yep. Alright. You know how to start it or? Do I know how to start it? I mean, yeah, I don't want to Make sure the stop switch is up. That's yeah. right. Just this lever comes up yep. here for the choke. choke. You have to prime it. Yep. And it, uh, right here. Did you prime it? Yep, give it three times. You did it already? No. Give it a pull. No need for it. Thing is, I just got one for my brother. Cool. But uh, I just can't, just nuts missing over here. All right, not a big deal. Um, no, that's uh, but I that's built in. You see that? Oh, it's built it's in. Built right, in. Cool. Excellent. Um, you bought it new? No, we got it with the house when we got it. So I'd say we probably had this about three, five years old. What would you? Uh, what are you going to take for it? I would do 225, no less. Can't do that for this. Understand. All right. Thank, Thank you for you your very time. Much for being here. No You're problem. Welcome. All right, thanks. All right, guys, so we're back. Unsuccessful. And I'm okay with that. Oh, wait, look who's calling me. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to hit the FE button on him. Nah, that's okay. Maybe I'll be a not a nice person. And make him go all the way back home and then reach back out to him. Someone's having second thoughts already. So anyway, let's talk on why I did what I did. Because I know what he was doing. And maybe you guys should know too. What do you think? All right, let's talk. Let me turn the camera around. How about this? Let's talk about our conversation. He said that he bought a backpack blow for his brother-in-law. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I believe it. Why would your brother-in-law not buy a backpack blow for himself? Please tell me. Please tell me how you are the quintessential know-it-all of backpack blowers. You want to know why? I know he was lying. Because if you guys, you guys really couldn't see, what he was trying to point out when he was trying to buy this blower. Like a moron, like an idiot, like a maroon. And what he was trying to do was trying to beat me up on my price, which is 250. 
really not too much wiggle room. I do not have a lot of money into this. I did absolutely nothing to this. I did absolutely nothing to it, except clean it up, write a beautiful ad, and list it. That's it. That is flipping at its, this is the epitome of flipping, doing absolutely nothing to it, right? That's flipping. That's not, it's not a fix and flip. It's literally flipping. I bought it and I'm reselling it for a higher price. I didn't do, didn't even turn a single wrench on this thing. Anyway, he was trying to sit there and say that there was something wrong with the backpack blower. Two things. Now, because I know my machines, just like you should know your machines, I was able to thwart his whole process. So him coming here to buy his backpack blower, he had zero intentions of paying two, 250 or anywhere near that. I didn't even want to ask him what his offer would be. But let's show you, let me show you what he was trying to beat me up on. All right, so here's the blower. Where do you want to start? You want to start here or here? Here or here? Here or here? Or maybe there or maybe here. All right, listen. He was trying to beat me up on this wiring harness. He says, why is this hanging here? What, was there a repair made to it? No, you numb nuts. There's no repair made to this. This is for the kill switch, dummy. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out, pal. Number two was, oh, there's a nut missing. Not a big deal. No, dummy. It's built in right here. You would think before he makes such comments, you would at least just turn the knob before you make yourself look like an idiot. So also, so also another reason why I chose not to go a little, little bit lower is because we are in September. Golly, did summer fly by. Golly, did freaking August fly by. Pretty crazy. What is coming up soon? Fall. And what does fall bring? Leaves. And what does leaves bring? Blowers. These sell all year round. So I'm really not willing to take that gamble for it. Sorry. And uh, he just called me back while I was in the middle of editing this. Ooh. Maybe I have a customer. Maybe I don't. I don't know what I should do. Maybe you think he pulled over on the side of the road waiting for me to call him back. You know what? Just in case he is, I probably won't call him back till either later on today or maybe tomorrow. <laughs> later. How you doing? this button. Mm -hmm. Handle down. No, they still have one like that. I go out with my engine. Okay. What, what happened? I keep pushing a little more. I don't have no oil. Oh, that's I, important. Guess what? I'm, so, I'm still mad at myself. Yeah. So this one was just serviced. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure the oil is full. <laughs> yes. Blade yeah. sharp and, and, yeah. and you're good to go. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Uh -huh. She wants me to go get a new one, but I tried to get yours, and you got it too. <laughs> Alright, since we're here, let's start this dance. <laughs> <laughs> Let me lay here for, for a second. Talk yeah, to that's me. fine. And I just had it tuned up. I mean, there is no, 
you know, people who are selling lawnmowers, at least I had this thing serviced before I put it up for sale. Mm -hmm. So, you know, kind of like a car, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't get, uh, so you don't get things blown up like your other one. No. At least you have, it, you, that was my fault. Yeah, you know, this is used as is, but at least you have a good chance, you know, you have almost like a clean slate, you know? Yeah. Talk to me, you get the cash and I get the hell out of here. I have to go to all the way back home to Babylon. Okay. Right. I mean, well, I'm. I wanted 150. What do you want to do? You want 150. I want, yeah. Okay. You ask him. One, one. Okay. Okay. I like to give you my price. Don't be mad. That's fine. Don't forget your phone. Yep. What about 100? How about meet me in the middle of 125 when we're done? cash. I got it. But remember, you see, I turned my back on <laughs> All right. And she wanted new, new stuff, but I tried to get that. That's fine. I'll let it go for a hundred bucks. Oh, oh okay. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Help you load it up. Let's take a quick chat. I told this guy on the phone I was firm at 150. Now, if it was any other lawnmower, like a Briggs or something like that, this thing is freaking old as dirt. Not old as dirt, but I mean, listen, this thing has been sitting in my project pile. I literally pulled it out with stick sleeves and everything, you know, on it. So essentially, it's like free money to me. Now, let's talk about, you know, uh, profit wise. Listen, I had to paint the thing, I had to service it, as always, you know, but I had to use good paint. I had it laying on the shelf, because that green I used for the snowblowers. So that, that one, that was one coat, that's it, sorry. Um, so I didn't even use the whole can, I was already using what I already had left. I mean, you know, did I have, maybe I had an hour into it, you know, you just want to play it safe. $1.77 in oil. Um, I had to get a new carburetor for it. That's right, because I had trouble rebuilding the, uh, that's right, I ultrasonic cleaned the existing one, and uh, it was just a nightmare after I got it running. I had to put a new gas cap on there. I mean, I'm probably into this thing for 
$22. More important part is, I've cashed in my pocket for something else in space because I got Mrs. Pate's performance out of my head, right? We're slowly cleaning out the project pile. The end of the season is dwindling down. Now, I did have somebody email me for a snowblower um, last night. I answered to him right away. We had a great conversation. And then he said he would email me today to set something up. Uh, around like 3 o'clock, I messaged him. Um, I haven't heard back from him. So I'm going to call this video a wrap. I have no faith in humanity after these past 48 hours. Um, I got an email for another snow, uh, snowblower. That guy was an absolute lowball, um, idiot, moron. Um, yeah. So that's it. We are done. This is what it's like to be me. It happens, right? Not everything is a, a home run as far as I didn't get what I wanted. But you know what? You heard me tell that guy, as is, sorry, pal, especially when you beat me up 50 bucks. <laughs> Don't even bother, ever. <laughs> All right, guys, if you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Day's Performance. Later.